hi friends so okay so the next one was the, the second mode or the cluster mode so just to show you uh, how we can do that do the cluster mode deployment I am about I just started to provision uh, the cluster mode so I have just issued this command I want to create a DS spin up a DS cluster uh, on the same resource group for East US cluster and I'm, I'm using two agent uh, agents here so yeah it's it's in the progress uh, so if, if I just go ahead and check the status let's see is ML I think it, it should be in the creating phase so it, it will it will take a, a another 20 minutes I, I guess so um, and yeah it's it's in it's creating so I will resume then so so sure okay I think yeah we, we got that provisioned so again checking on the status so the provisioning of the cluster environment is succeeded now let's try to use or set the context from the local onto the cluster so that we can do that by the let's say we want to set that to So once set, we will just point our image. So we had we had registered the model, we had created the manifest and the image. The final service uh, needs to be created on to the cluster this time. That's the idea. So we will simply create the service this time around uh, from the same ID, and we will provision that on uh, this cluster that should be the idea so yeah let's let's try that while this tries to set the context awesome so yeah so the, the compute is set so let's just go back and try to take a look at the um, ID I think I suppose that's that's something because this time we don't have to do the entire thing uh, and, and you'll see so we will just have to create the real-time service uh, based on the image ID so that this this is the command so we'll have to use this one actually so to do that we will have we'll need the ID so let's go back and take a look at the last image ID that was created in our local environment so just go up and we should be able to drag that out so this is the docker container and this is the manifest and this is the image ID if you see here so this is the image ID that we need to just pick and just go here let's put it here and we have all set so give that service a name let's call it product app or say to differentiate let's say product cluster app it's just a hypothetical name so that's it we just track down and let's try to create this the service and I will get back as soon as this this is going to take a while so I'll pause the video again so as you can see the service creation is started so yeah let's pausing it okay awesome seems like the the service has been created so again we just we just get the command also uh, so let's try to test this um, I will just paste this command so that's it so it's being created so let's just go here let's test our service which we just created on the cluster that 
that's phenomenal that's awesome so we get the predictions right from the second mode and that's the cluster mode for currently we've provisioned it with two cluster size seats so that's the details and yeah let's go back to the portal as well and let's try to see um, okay that's a connection issue so no worries no worries yet so that's fine so we just go back here and yeah there's a bunch of things created now if we refresh we should find a lot of things added so if you you'll find um, two nodes created and then the master node yeah that that's something that we can revisit but the idea was currently to just go to the model management uh, and take a look on the model management service there you have go there you go so we have uh, the management model management a service being created and uh, we have all the details of how we can use that or, or hit it so uh, and and the manifest and everything that is being referenced so we have the URL and the and the key uh, which we need uh, basically which we need to, to, to copy and, and generate it so yeah I mean let's try to explore this further just give me a minute thank you friends I think uh, that was all I had to share I think uh, apart from this you can also gather uh, and, and get the statistics of uh, and the way these services are being hit and the statistics around it via, with app insights and also the, the power bi can be integrated on top of the uh, data available of which is the telemetry of the entire model uh, so, uh, as a service so I mean that was around all the operationalization of the uh, model or curious model or deep learning uh, neural net model uh, with the help of Azure infrastructure and I hope it clears out a lot of doubts around uh, how we can use and, and how we can operationalize it uh, Azure has me really made it easy uh, and once I, I'm sure once you acclimatize yourself with uh, the various uh, small nitty-gritties you will find it really good and comfortable doing uh, all this um, easily so let me know your feedback uh, and your experiences I'll be happy to learn uh, with your experiences uh, and and feel free to share it um, signing off for now with this playlist thank you so much thank you